my little YouTube. I'm at Harry's You Pull It in Allentown. Let's take a quick look at this junkyard Chevy Express van, 2500. Even though most of the interior is missing out of it. Just goes to show you how big these things were. As you can hear, there's a bit of an echo in my voice. <laughs> these things were pretty freaking huge. Obviously, I can't tell you the mileage, but again, I'm assuming it's pretty high. Here's the engine. I'm not, I'm not an expert on GM products, so not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. These were really big vans. Yeah, Express fan. I still see these out on the road. Chevy Express fan. We might as well take a quick look at the escape right here. That's right next to it. Headlights missing. Still got the other one though. A lot of things. It's missing a steering wheel. The cluster's still there though. Oh, the steering wheel's on the ground. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. It's not perfect, but at least it's there now. <laughs> not connected on there all the way but there we go looks better than it was sitting on the ground seat covers there's the grill and this has the I'm not sure what engine this is I think these also came in four cylinder I think this is a four cylinder, I'm not sure. Uh, these either came in a four cylinder or a or the 24 valve V6 that my Mercury Sable has. Um, yeah, guess we'll take a quick look at the back seat. Looks like we might have to manually open the door. Let's see where's the lock. See if it'll open now. Nope, door's broken. We'll go around on the other side. There's another one right there. Might as well take a look at that one since it's sitting right here. And there's another escape grill on the ground. <laughs> there's a Toyota Sienna van. A friend of mine had one of these. The engine blew up in it because <laughs> he didn't take care of it. Here's another one. This one looks like it's in slightly better condition. There's another escape. I understand these escapes were not the best uh, thing that Ford built. These were kind of cheaply made SUVs, but they're at the end of their lifespan. Now, I wonder what year this one is. I'll check the year on the red one over there too. Let's see. Let's have a look. This is a 2002 Ford Escape. Take a look at the red one too. This one was a. Uh, this one is a 03. So this one is a 2003. Actually, no, 12 of 03. So it probably sold in 04. If I had to guess.
here's an expedition. Take a quick look at the Ford Expedition. Bigger version of the Explorer, basically, is what these were. This one was, oh, I can't get inside. Go around on the other side, see if I can get in that way. Is this thing locked? There we go. Success. Open sesame. <laughs> it's got a key in it too. I'm trying to oh, trying to unlock the front door. Well, there's a puddle here, so I'm gonna go around and see if I can get in on the other door. It's got the key in it, surprisingly. Seat up. I gotta put this down. Jeez, it won't move. Fuck. Alright. Just do it this way. It's got the key in it. That's a mercury key, I think. Take a look at that. Yeah, it's got a mercury key, that's funny. Of course, it's not gonna do anything because it doesn't have a battery in it, but. Let's see if I can unlock that door and see what year it is. I can't seem to get that door unlocked, unfortunately, so I can't get a good shot of the front seat, but anyways, thank you for watching.